This video is a revisit. Not too long ago, I did a tutorial called Renaming Files and Saving File Extensions. Hopefully, I'll remember to put an annotation in this video, if I remember. Um, linking to that, and it will probably go into more detail on exactly what a, the original viewer was asking to accomplish. And in that video, I showed a way of grabbing the extension of a file. Um, so basically, um, you know, if you have, well, in this case, let me cat out, I have a file here called URL.log. And we have three different links to three different images, two PNGs and two JPEGs, or sorry, two PNGs and a JPEG. And we want to grab the extension for each one. So you could, in theory, go uh, cut out that file and say cut dash delimiter of period. And we can say, okay, we got one, two, three periods. So we want the one after the third. So we want the fourth field dash F of that file. And you see it works for the first two, but not the last one, because the last one has a different number of periods in it. And in my tutorial, I used the reverse command, the REV, and I flipped the file, grabbed the, everything in the first field, and then flip it back. And in that video, I stated that this is probably not the best way to do it. There's probably a better way using regular expressions or other tools, although some viewers still complain, and rightfully so. They're absolutely right. The more you pipe, the more inefficient your script is because it's more processes you're starting. So if you can do everything in one uh, command, uh, even better. Um, so I tend to use cut a lot and grep a lot, where really if I was more versed with programs like sed and awk, I could probably do what I do in multiple uh, pipings in one command, which is exactly what a viewer, his name is, uh, I believe it's pronounced toil, T-Y-O-I-L, uh, showed me a, another way of doing it using awk, which is definitely more efficient. Um, and I'll show you what he did, and then depending on your situation, you have one or uh, another option. But basically, uh, the way he did it was, um, well, normally I would cat out the file, but he's probably more correct than I am in piping the file in or redirecting the file in at the end there. We're going to do a read loop. And we're going to read, um, we're going to create a variable called IMG. IMG is going to be a variable as we read through each line of our file. And we're going to say do echo, and we're going to echo our variable, our line, into awk. We're going to say dash F, capital F, period. So that's our delimiter, just like in cut. And then inside single quotes and inside braces, whoops, we're going to print. And then it's, we're going to tell it what field we want to print. So you can give it a number. But there are some built-in variables in awk. And uh, one of them is dollar sign, capital N, capital F, which is number of fields. So no matter how many number of fields, whether no matter how many numbers of periods there are in this case, um, it will go to the last one. I hope that makes sense. So if there's three, and F will represent three. If there's four, and F will represent fourth field. Okay, so we have that, and then we can do done. And then, uh, as I said, normally I would cat, but it's probably uh, a little bit better, uh, one less pipe in it if we just redirect the file. In this case, it's called url.log. And if I typed everything right, there we go. We got a PNG, PNG, and JPEG. Now, this uh, scenario right there is uh, pretty much how you would do it if you look at the previous tutorial. Once again, I hope I remember to put an annotation in this video. Um, for renaming, you can grab each one in the while loop. Now, in another situation where you just need a list of everything in that fourth field, um, or in that last field, um, so you just need the extensions, maybe you're trying to, well, no, that wasn't going to make sense, what I was about to say. But needless to say, I'm going to show you a shorter way of doing it, but uh, it would be a different scenario than what we were originally trying to accomplish because you would need a while loop because you're probably going to be running more than one command. But you could just say awk-f period for our delimiter. And then once again, we're going to do just like before. We're going to print the last field, so number of fields there. And then we can just give it the file name. Boom, and the output looks the same in this situation, but as I said, you're probably gonna have to use a while loop for most situations, especially if you're gonna be renaming files because you'll have to loop through each file. But I thought I'd bring that up. So thank you, Toil, for bringing that to my attention. I really, and I've been saying this, I think, since I started doing videos over two years ago, um, 
I need to learn Awk a little bit better, and I also need to learn Set a little bit better. But they're both great tools that I've only scratched the surface of, and I tend to do a lot of piping that's unnecessary if I have those tools. And those tools are available on most Linux systems. Um, so, once again, thank you, Toil. Please visit filmsbychris.com. Check out the first link in the description. Um, I'll have some sample code there. Uh, it's Films by Chris, Chris with a K, and I hope that you have a great day.